guys. Got this stupid movie. I don't know what the frick this is. I got the stupid thing at top, so. <gasps> this is a little better of one. Pretty good. Dark Fate, pretty good. Genesis. I haven't watched this one yet, but I just came in today like 30 minutes ago. Here it is. That's the outer cover. And it gave me a digital HD thing for stuff, yeah. I don't know what that's for, but... Sorry, I have to hold the phone in between my chin to put this thing back on. Okay. Then we have Rise of the Machines, Terminator 3. I know this is all taped up and crap, but it looks really ugly. It looks really ugly, but as you can see, it's creased right there. That's because it was folded, so I had to rip the permanent... I had to rip the permanent cover off so then I could unfold the paper so I could read it. So I had to tape it all back up. It looks really ugly, but yeah. This doesn't even have digital HD, but this does. I got this at this grocery store in the movie section. Got this there too, this there too, and I got this off Amazon. I'm getting another Terminator movie when it comes in like 13th through 15th um, in March this month. I got Rise of the Machines for DVD and Blu-ray. I have a Blu-ray and DVD player. And then I have Genesis for DVD and Blu-ray. Then I have Fright Night 2, okay. which is trash. All right, if you put it's really there. stupid. I don't. I haven't watched this, but I assume it's really stupid. And I'm going to be washing them, getting all the fingerprints off. This, I don't, I'm just doing this for fun because this hasn't been used, but yeah, that is pretty much, you. what is that? That is gross. Whatever that stupid stuff is, let me show you. See that gross stuff right there? Hold on. See that, that, that gross stuff right there? That's fingerprints. All right, let's pop it in. There we go. See? There we go. Now let's pop her in, flip her over. It is completely safe to do this. I've tested it, and I've, and it is com it's completely safe to do. You can try it, but a tip is a very important tip is if you're doing this, you have to have just a little bit of warm water, not hot, because that'll melt the title off, because it's not, it's not formed into it. Okay. So, so then you want to, you want to do that. You notice how this is silver. You notice how when you put the DVD one inside the warm water facing it at the window, it's silver. But then when you put the Blu-ray one facing the window, it's gold. See, DVD, Blu-ray, DVD, Blu-ray, DVD, Blu-ray. See, they both have different things on the bottom of the disc it is safe to do this again a very important tip is you have to thoroughly dry these and let them air dry before you put them inside of any type of electronic okay thoroughly dry them and let them air dry for two to three hours okay to get any remains that's what you have to do to to um clean your discs remember just lukewarm water make sure they're spaced out because that'll that'll just make it it'll make it so it's like i don't i don't know why i said that never mind i said that okay this is blu-ray and this is blu-ray see blu-rays are both gold and dvds are all just kind of silver but some gold see this is not blu-ray this is actually just DVD. I have no idea why it's gold. But see, these two are actually silver. Because I know it looks... Yes, yeah, see? They're silver. But then these... When you do this... Look. When you do this... They're gold. This is probably the goldest disc I've ever seen. That's really cool. That's really cool. Probably the goldest disc I've ever seen. Okay, 
huh? What stuff out? I'm doing it after, Nana. All right. So now you're just gonna you're just gonna spread it around. You're just gonna you're just gonna you know spread the water so it gets a little bit of mixing. I don't I don't know why I said mixing. You gotta shake the water around so it kind of you know gets the perfect. Each disc you're gonna wanna gonna wanna do that. And you're gonna wanna shake it. And then when you're done with it, you want to do this. Make sure you're holding it like this so then it doesn't get any fingerprints. Remember, thumb through the hole and finger on the edge. That's how you hold the disc. And then you're going to want to do the same thing with all the discs. It doesn't matter how many discs are in there. And then you're going to want to grab a towel or a paper towel, optional, whatever you want to grab. Or if you want to put them on your bare counter like a strange person would do. Again, I'm not judging you, but I'm just saying, okay, if you want to put no towel and just dry off your counter, you can do that. It doesn't matter. But, I mean, you definitely, you have no choice. You have to dry them off. Then you're going to place them on there. And you're gonna and I like I always like to place the matching ones with the matching ones. Alright. Here we go. Blu-ray goes on the top because it's higher quality. DVD goes on the bottom. Again, Blu-ray goes on the top. <laughs> I'm not telling you you have to put them on the top, but I just say to myself that I like them on the top and bottom. And then Sorry, Fright Night 2, but you don't have a Blu-ray and DVD, so you're automatically going on the bottom without a friend. I don't know why I said that. And then you're just going to want to fold it over. You're going to want to fold it over. So then if you find an available space, you want to put any disc with the other disc, and you're going to want to fold it over just like that. And you're just going to want to perfectly fold it like a triangle. And then fold the corners. That. And now, let me set up the camera angle. There we go. Now, let's move them over there. Now, you're just going to wrap it up. And you're just going to go like this. You're just going to set it. And you're just going to, you're just going to kind of rub your hand against the towel that has the discs inside and that's gonna get the perfect clean. And you see, you're gonna, and then that's not gonna perfectly get it clean. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna unravel them, all of them. You're gonna wanna unravel all of them. And then you're gonna put them all in a different spot and you're gonna put it here and you're gonna put a single disc and you're just gonna go like this. It's gonna, gently scrub you have to gently scrub or else the label will come off because i've done it before see this is terminator genesis dvd which only features the movie and then let's go after this i'll show you and then let's freaking go it shows special features including director's cut deleted scenes and much more and features the film and cutscene selection. Boom! Frick you, DVD! Let's go with Blu-ray! Got it! Now let's get the stupid trash movie over here. I don't care about you that much. I really hate you. But I'm just gonna still care about you. Even though I hate you. Stupid. Freaking. Get away from that. You're not as valuable as Terminator. Go off to the side with your alone self. You don't you don't you don't deserve to be with a friend. You're the worst movie ever. You don't belong to be with the cool terminators. You belong to be there by yourself with the yogurt. Let's move this. You belong to be there by yourself with the stupid yogurt. Yogurt's not stupid. Only if you get only if you get vanilla Greek yogurt. 
If you get vanilla Greek yogurt again, I like vanilla yogurt, but when you get vanilla Greek yogurt, when you select Greek and you turn the Greek yogurt into vanilla, that is disgusting. Vanilla Greek yogurt tastes terrible. I don't even like Greek in the first place. I just like regular. Um, I like, I like vanilla um, yogurt, and I like... Um, and I like raspberry yogurt and lemon raspberry because it has it tastes like lemonade and all the other things. It just yeah, so that's why I like it. And I'm going to put them back inside their case now. That is Terminator Three: Rise of the Machines. That is DVD. It does not belong on the right side. All right, that's gonna be good. screwed up on the on the creating of the disc where they made the they made the cover literally stick out they made it stick out on the aluminum of the thing on the disc they messed up they screwed up where's my case oh it's inside there i'm so dumb right yeah i'm dumb I, i'm I, i'm dumb not done i said dumb you so dumb i'm shit you so dumb Remember that, guys? Never mind, you don't. I mean, most of, most of the most of the viewers don't even know what that means. Most of the viewers don't know. Remember the this, the remember on the news, the black guy. He was he was like, "You so dumb," and he was getting arrested. And then there was a news blooper where a guy was arrested during a haircut and literally his hair, half of his afro was full and the rest was like bald, kind of. And he looked so ugly, half of his head was afro and the, the other half, literally the rest was just like a normal haircut. He had left, afro, right, regular he was arrested during a dang haircut, and he looked so terrible, bro. <laughs> dang it. Um, I knocked over my water bottle. I know I, I liked this color at the time, but I don't really like it anymore. Okay, now let's put the Terminator Genesis. Now where's my dark fate? Come on. Come on. Okay, no one's in there. Stupid fright night. Where's my, where's my disc? And where's my disc? Where's my disc? And where's my disc? I can't find my. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. I'm not done with my video. I I'm not. Where's my disc? I can't find my disc. Dang it! Did I put one in the wrong? Hey. Where did my disc go? My disc. I don't know. Where did I put it in Fright Night? No. I got. I swear to God, if I lost Dark Fate, oh, oh, Dark Fate is inside the dang. Man, I left Dark Fate and what? The phone is not on you. It's facing towards my face. Jeez. I don't care. No, you don't care. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. No, I'm not going to stay with my mother on the weekend. I don't care. I'm recording a video. Will you stop? When aren't I recording a video? Oh, it's gotta be so ridiculous. All right, just forget that happened. So then you're just gonna. I I didn't realize I had Dark Fate still inside the dang. I had Dark Fate inside the inside the DVD player still.
right? Stupid faucet handle the other way. Thank you. Er, this way. Sorry, stupid faucet handle. God, not the stupid thing. Hold on, guys. I'm getting this off. Can't get this stupid thing off. Forget it. I'll just leave this stupid thing on. Why do they always gotta put the stupid ring on my goddamn disc? Alright, well, you already seen everything, guys. So, pretty much you already seen everything. So, we're just gonna... I mean, I know where my phone is, but my stupid phone was upside down. And then, yeah, that's everything. Pretty much everything. I just gotta put the stupid freight right inside the goddamn. Come on. Stupid case closed while I was leaving it open. See, look. See, look at this. You see this? Look at this. I even prop it up to help it stay closed. And literally, look what happens. See? That happens. Alright, well that's all my movies guys. Thanks for watching. If you are, thanks. Bye.